name is Gerald. I'll move my hand away. Promise. Stay silent. What the hell are you doing here? And are you alone? I was here walking with, with my friends. These pigs attacked us. They're all dead. Every single one of them is dead.
Abigail, this isn't you. None of this is you. None of what, Mom? What am I doing? You know what you're doing. Can't say it. I can. Drugs. Benzodiazepines, sometimes called benzos, is a drug that relieves anxiety and insomnia. They are effective when used short term, but long term use increases the risk of addiction. That can lead to mood swings, aggression, depression, and overdoses. Okay. Thanks, Wikipedia. Abby, it's worse than what you're saying. You have to admit that. I don't need you here. I'm your friend. That's why I'm here. That's why I'm saying any of this. Look, I've said this over and over again, and I really don't want to repeat myself. But seeing as you're all here, yes, I took something once, and I mixed it with like a substantial amount of alcohol, and it resulted in my not so finest hour. Oh, please, mom, please, you just let me speak. This whole situation is an overreaction. And yes, I haven't been doing as well as I could do at college, but I'm working at figuring that out and fixing it. That, it's gotten to be too much. You're reliant on the drug. You're just as bad, Laura. Christ. I wasn't taking drugs. Yeah, give me a minute. What are you doing in there? So, a minute, one sec, please. Come out now. Oh, just give me a second. Your friend is here. Open the door. Friend. <laughs> I don't have a friend. I have a friend. Abby, it's me, Lara. Mom, what is she doing here? I'm here to help you. You want to help me? Lara, it might be better if you waited downstairs. Thanks for all the help, Lara. <laughs> One sec. Okay. Yeah, go. Mom, can you just give me some space? Were you doing drugs in there? I'm not taking anything. Look me in the eyes and say that. Abigail, please. Happy now. What do you think? I don't know. Well, do you think she's still on me or? Keith, I don't know. I know nothing about Class A drugs. The hardest drug I ever took was an epidural when I was having Madame Bear. All right, I'm just asking. Does she seem like herself? She hasn't seemed like herself since she was 15. I just don't know. Well, there's only one way to find out then. Hello, Abigail. My name's Cara. Your parents have asked me to come and speak to you about your substance abuse habit and relative issues. So this is officially an intervention then? <laughs> A what? <laughs> That's more of an American term sort of thing you see on a TV show. But I suppose what we're doing here is not dissimilar. Now, the first thing you have to do, Abigail, is to admit to yourself that you've got a problem. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, I, I do have a problem. 
My problem is that my family think they know me, they won't listen to me, and others pretend to be my friend. So, yeah, I think this has actually all been a big, big waste of your time, so I'd just leave if I was you. I've seen many cases like yours over the years, Abigail. Do you find that you're having to take more and more to get the same effect? I'm fine. A break from your studies is a good first step. Now I suggest we take some further steps. Such as? Um, getting a break from routine, uh, from familiarity. That's why so many rehabilitation centres are out of the way. The patient needs to concentrate on the recovery. You're talking about me like I'm not even here. She needs to go to rehab? I find it takes better if the, the whole family is involved. Get away from it. Concentrate on the one issue. Hang on. She's been sent home from college and she's getting a free vacation out of it? Mark, you're not helping me. I don't see how a free trip away is going to help. Please stop. Not a trip. It's not a reward. It's not a punishment either. <laughs> you really told me. It's a realignment. Peace and tranquility so that Abigail and I can concentrate on her recoveries. We have some cabins in the country that we use from time to time. Very remote. No Wi-Fi. Ew. Where is that? Somewhere very far away from here. But there is room for all the family and friends. Not a vacation. Huh? I'm doing this for you. Come on. You go first. Look, I'm not doing this out of spite. I'm seriously concerned for you. Your parents called me and asked me how you were, but they oh. already knew that you were struggling because the university called them. Seriously, why are you acting like you've never done drugs before in your life? Like you're so fucking squeaky clean, prim, like proper or something. Yeah, okay, once or twice. <laughs> but you knew that we did it together. Yeah. But you're using every day, constantly. And you owe Francis money. Why did you even have to tell them about Frank? You know, I'm really starting to think that you're just here for something else, <laughs> not even me, really. Okay, I'm trying to stay calm. Car said this would be difficult for me. Yeah, well, it's not working, is it? You're not gonna have any friends left, Abby. As far as I'm concerned, I actually don't, so. Oh. Gail, why don't we travel together? Our family and friend can travel together. Give us time to chat. Okay. Lesser of two evils, I suppose. Giving away our location. Well, I'm not going to post it. There's probably no signal. In fact, I want everyone's phones. What? Now we're here, we have to focus on Abigail and her recovery. I've already got her phone. Now, we don't want to give her any temptation in case she tries to contact her dealer. The outside world. Everyone.
Ah. Well, this is musty. Need to crack a window in here. Shit. It stinks in here. Hey. We haven't picked rooms. Five. When she went there, the cupboard was bare. I can pick up a few things if you like. Oh, we'll need to, but I wasn't expecting you to do it. <laughs> I have a few calls to make before we get set into the weekend, and I have to uh, obey my own rules. Hey. It'll work out, I promise you. <sighs> Is this all my fault? Did we do something wrong? Every parent asks that question. What you're doing now is the right thing. We'll find out why Abigail was attracted to taking drugs in the first place. It'll work out, trust me. But before it does, I have to warn you. She will do and say almost anything. There's a lot of hard work, a lot of healing. We'll have to be there for her in the next few days. Going cold turkey will test her to the worst of her extremes. <sighs> you think her attitude's bad now? It's not a fraction of how bad it is going to get. But we will get your daughter back. I promise. There's some board games in here. Do you want to play? Mm. Are you going to be like this the whole time? Like what? We're doing this for your own good, you know? For my own good. Okay. That's rich. For me. I don't know what's worse. Your clear addiction or your addiction to him. There it is. There it is what? This is the minute you tell us. Are you jealous of Frank? Your whole life, you've had it so easy. Everyone falls head over heels for you. Everyone wants to impress you. And now you're just jealous. And now you've just created this whole circus. You're clearly in withdrawal. I care about you. No, you don't. You don't care about me. You care about you. All you do is fucking love you. Piss off. What's happening? How do you help someone who doesn't want to be helped? 
going to be the drugs, right? Makes her say things, mood swings, all that. Part of what rehabilitation is, I guess. Kara will get us through this. Where is she, anyway? Hope she's not going to be much longer. I'm starving. Maybe one of us should go and sit with Abigail. I would maybe give her a few minutes to cool down. She was fairly ratty. Well, I'm going to go for a walk. Get some air, clean my head. From what? Everything. A quick reset. You mean you're going to have a smoke? Not at all. Ten days, I've been off them. I wonder where Abby gets her addictive personality. I can quit any time I want. <laughs> yeah, any time I want. Abigail? <sighs> Abigail? Wait! <sighs> Abby! We're in the middle of nowhere. Where are you going? Abby! Where the hell do you think you're going in the Dad, middle of the stop. night? Are you gonna meet your dealer? Is that what's going on? I don't need to be kept prisoner. You're not being kept prisoner. Oh, really? So I can just leave that? No, no. You need to stay to get better. Look, I know it seems harsh, but you're my daughter and I love you and I want to help you through this. It's got to be done. Dad, seriously, like... I'm not addicted, I swear. I just... Let it get really out of hand. I promise you. You will say anything to get to this guy and what you need. I'll tell you what I need. 
I need you to hear me, okay? And listen to me. Look, look. It's late. It's wet. Let's, let's go back to the cabin. Hopefully Carl will be back soon with some food, get something to eat, get some sleep, start again in the morning. No. Come on, Abby. Stop, just stop. Stop. Come on, we can do this together, yeah? Dad? 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 Oh my God. Oh my back. Oh. You're bleeding. What's in my back? You're bleeding. I don't move. Uh, it's an arrow. What do you mean an arrow? It's a fucking arrow. Uh, it's an arrow. Who, who the fuck fires arrows at people? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, uh, we have to get out of here. Dad, can you move? Uh, uh, can you move? Barely. Oh my God. Ah, uh, uh, Jesus. Oh my God. Dad, Dad, you have to move. You have to move. Get up now, please. Dad, can you move? What the fuck? We need to get out of here. Okay. Dad, you need to. Okay. You need to move. Can you move? Can you move? Okay. You have to get up. Dad. Okay. Okay. Dad. Which way back to the cabin? Which way back to the cabin? Which way back to the cabin? I don't know. Oh my God. Just pick, pick a direction. Okay, this go. Way, this way, go. This way. Go. Are you okay? Uh. Abigail! Abby! Abby! It's okay. Oh, no, Dad. Come on. Yeah. Please, just move. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, there's a car. There's a car. Oh, son of a bitch. Ah, yeah. oh, damn it, damn it. It's okay. We gotta move. We gotta keep moving. We gotta go. Dad, we gotta go. I think it's Cara's car. That can't be good. Uh, look, I'll wait here. Put me down. No. Go, go check the car. That is the only option we uh, have. You gotta keep moving, please. Uh, Just keep uh, moving. You Move. Are, you are so stubborn. Uh, it's okay. You're not there. Uh, I know. Yeah. Uh, okay. You got it. Uh, you got it. Okay. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, come on. Uh, One more step. Uh, One more step. Okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> shit. Uh, oh, what if she took the keys? Uh, oh, fuck. Okay. Oh, Okay. Okay, one second. Okay, there's no keys now. Uh, one second. Shh. One second, okay? her to stay. Find her, please. She's your little sister. You have to take care of her.
Abby. Dad. Abby. Dad. Dad. Where, where the hell are we? Dad, they're gonna die. They're gonna die, Dad. I can't move. <laughs>
Why would she do this? I'm supposed to be the screw up. She's the golden child. Yeah, well, I was back home. She had a difficult time at university. She took harder to the social scene than most people do, actually. Where's she gone to? Uh, I mean, this way is where the world leads to. If she wanted to go anywhere, she would need to get a ride, right? Which way? That way. Okay. Let's go there. Abigail! the whole time. And then she went silent and we haven't gotten anything out of her since. Abigail, what happened? Did you fall? What about your dad? Where is he? There's no sign of dad. What? She said somebody took him and that they're on their way back here to come for us. I think she's on something. Oh, she was leaving and we found her coming back. Why would she be coming back then? Because she scored? Oh yeah, you think she just happened upon a dealer in the middle of the woods? Well, either she's on something or her withdrawal symptoms are kicking in. Stop bickering the pair of you and do something useful. Like what? The kettle on. There's tea? No, Kara didn't come back yet. Oh, fuck. This can't be happening. Somebody needs to have those scratches looked at. There's nothing here to deal with that. Is there a first aid kit in the car? Yeah, the car. The car! We should take the car and go into town. I'm not leaving here while Keith is still wandering out there in the woods. Yeah, there, there could be a hospital in town. Okay, 
You take Abigail to find a doctor, and, I, and I'll wait here for your dad. I'll go and get some hot water and a towel. Okay, we're gonna take the car. Okay. And we're gonna go into town. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're gonna get you some help. And then we're gonna come back oh, here to. There's Sarah. There you go. You're coming. You're coming. Oh, you're coming. Mark and I are gonna go, and your mom's gonna stay here. They're out there, though. How did this to you? You don't understand. They're out there. They're out there. That's all we're taking. Let us come back for the rest. Okay. Come on. They're out there, though. Where's your mom? Oh. You need to pull yourself together. I'm not answering. Oh, is this something? Is that He's done, 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 he's done,
need to be stronger. How much is it going to be something to the engine or something. <laughs> Maybe we can just run up the road. No, um, a, ca a car is a car. It's up the road. I saw it when I was running away from Do that. Do you have the keys? No. Well, that's not very helpful, is yeah, it? She might still have them. When did you see her? Yeah, I think you killed her. What? She might still have them on her. I know where she is. We need to get to the bunker. What bunker? Come on. <laughs> to the car. Okay, there is no car. What? Uh, there is another uh, There's another car. Hey, can we do this somewhere else? We need to go. Oh, okay. Son of a bitch. Oh, it's okay. Bitch. Hey, we need to get to the bunker. There's a bunker? Yeah. to go with Abby. You can't even walk for a while. Man, is there a first aid kit in the car? Yeah. 
Are you want to help me? So help me now. Are you keys? Subject 69 shows surprising results. Despite the five doses administered, her heart keeps a constant beat. Hmm. The subject lost all primary teeth after the third dose 25 days ago. Oh, we can see that the growth of her new permanent teeth have already progressed strongly. This is a promising sign. Hmm. The mutation of the eyes haven't started yet, but I believe the subject will make it to the end. No, no, no!
okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay.
Hey. Hey. I know you can't see me, but you can hear me, right? Yeah? I'll take that if he has. Listen. I think I understand because... I saw those tapes, those, like, videotapes, and I saw what they did to you. I saw what happened, and it's horrible, horrible abuse. It's not right. You've been, like, reduced to nothing but animals, and it's so wrong. But that gives you no excuse to kill me. My family, my mother, my father, my brother. And now my best friend. Do you hear me? He lost everything. And now I lost everything too. this place to the fucking ground.
We're gonna make it on. Thank you. 